Hi, I'm Karen Sheldon. I'm President of the Northern Territory Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Jason Howe, Executive Director with the Department of Trade, Business and Innovation. As a sole trader and a one-person band, we understand that you are working harder than ever to make ends meet. So this video is designed to offer you some tips and help to get the support you need. We can also work together to help our small businesses and ensure that they're ready to go once the pandemic passes. Yes, the first step is surviving as a small business and a sole trader. You know, I remember when I first started my own small business many, many years ago, I spent so much time um, working in the business that I never had time to work on the business. And I'd be doing my bookkeeping at 2 a.m. in the morning. So nowadays, um, my best advice that I give to any small business is to outsource your bookkeeping if you can. Even if you don't think you can afford it, not doing it as often comes at a greater cost. Getting to know your business is really important and what better time to do it. And also, start looking at how you can adapt your business for the current situations. We all know that change is inevitable, but the change that's been forced on us just recently, and with the changes that are happening every day, can sometimes be very frightening. But it's a really good chance for you to look at how you can move your business forward once we come to the rebound phase of this pandemic. Perhaps you can improve your social media presence. We all know that sometimes we don't have time to do that when we're too busy actually delivering our services. So maybe this is a time for you to also seek assistance to um, develop a better online presence for the future. And of course, the next thing to look at is in the rebound. How can you better adapt your business to be ready for the rebound? Are you making the best of the goods and services that you offer? Perhaps it's now time to get advice in that sector as well. But you know, if the worst comes to the worst and you've done all these things and you've really analysed your business and got to know it, even now maybe it's time to just take a pause so that you are still in a good place to get started again once we get the green light to go forward. There are a number of government support programs. So I'll explain to you the key ones for sole traders with no staff. Number one, the JobKeeper payment. That's a $1,500 a fortnight payment by the Commonwealth Government. So you may be eligible if your turnover is less than a billion dollars, which at a guess, I think that would be most of you. And your trade has been impacted or will be impacted by at least 30%. Number two, the NT Small Business Survival Fund. This is specifically for businesses who have had their turnover impacted as a result of the shutdown or the restrictions in place. There is a payment of up to $2,000 available to sole traders. There is also a payment of up to $1,000 for rapidly adapting your business to the new restrictions. For example, getting an online presence or moving to home deliveries. Number three, the business improvement grant. Up to $10,000 is available for physical improvements of your shop front or workplace premise. As an example, if you're a beautician, and we know that they have had to close, you would be eligible for a $1,500 fortnight payment, $2,000 through the NT Small Business Survival Fund, and up to $10,000 available through the Business Improvement Grant. Another example, a clothing boutique. They haven't had to close because of the restrictions. However, their trade has most likely been significantly impacted. They would be eligible for a $1,500 a fortnight payment, up to $2,000 through the Small Business Survival Fund and up to $10,000 through the Business Improvement Grant to improve their premises. In addition, you could get some help with your power and rent and this could save you a couple grand a month. And last but not least, ask for help. We're all in this together in these daily changing times. We're certainly getting plenty of opportunity to practice change management. The Northern Territory Government has moved swiftly and both the tourism and business sectors are offering advice to support your business. The Northern Territory Chamber is also ready to help. With our hotline, you can access up to four hours of free advice from specialists who can help you with legal, accounting, marketing, or general business advice suited specifically to you. You can also get this advice through the Business Enterprise Centre. 
So look, let's all work together to make sure that our businesses survive currently, adapt for the future, and that we're there for the rebound. Because we know things are going to come good again, and we know that our, our Northern Territory business is going to emerge stronger than ever.